This week I'm playing a lefty, which with my hurt wrist and sliced back end could be a big problem. We were facing the University of Washington in our last non-conference match of the regular season, and we're looking to finish high. In doubles I was back with my usual partner Eddie Winter, playing on court 2. We started pretty standard, one game each, and looking to continue hold for hold. Eddie here reads the guy's movement early and goes line winner. Fast forward to 3-2 and this is really the most pace I can put on a pack and line, but you know, I'll take it. At least we get in the rally. Great lob here by Eddie which actually ends up being a winner. We get to deuce point in that game and this is the classic foreign cross court rally where everyone is just waiting to cross. And eventually Eddie goes line and then throws up a lob. And I'm ready for the volley there. Fast forward to 5-2 and it's our first match point. Just wide with the backhand volley. We lose the game but at 5-3 we get yet another match point, this time on serve. Volley cross court to close at 6-3. We didn't end up losing the doubles point though despite our win. So we definitely had some good work to do to turn this around. In singles on court 2, I was facing Ziani Zarin, playing from Belarus, who has a UTR of 12.86. His real strength is that he was a lefty. And as you can see straight away, he was really trying to trap me with his foreign into my back end corner. And with this slice, it could be a big problem. I saw a fair to aggress you, I knew having the game in my hand would be essential to prevent him trapping me on that corner. On this serve though it wasn't gonna be that easy. As you can see big lefty serve and that lefty spin was really effective in finding my back end and making sure I couldn't go around it. Try to move him around a little bit with the slice, but you know he had one idea and one idea only, just stick to my back end. He holds, and without realizing, I'm getting a bit more passive than I should have. I think some of these balls I could have probably moved around and hit a foreign, especially because I knew he was going to keep playing there. And yeah, that's how too many rallies his first set went, unfortunately. And this wasn't really good because he didn't miss much and I would end up making more mistakes. I'm facing two breakpoints this first game. And if I could get him on the move first, it wasn't easy for him to hit my back and corner. So I knew that could have been the key. 30-40 and he gets a good return in. And it could be a situation where I'm stuck again. And yeah, again, he's literally just hitting to my back inside. I eventually get some forens, but I shank this one out and hand in the break. Fast forward to 3-2 and if I'm being honest here, it's been tougher than expected. I mean, he hasn't really missed a lot of balls and it's putting more pressure on me to try and do something to get out of that. He's definitely in confidence right now and he's also starting to move me around more and being aggressive. I think just to make it more difficult and unpredictable for me to hit winners or take risks um, to move him. And yeah, I knew at this point I had to start hitting some two-handed backhands, otherwise I was going to be in trouble. That game goes to deuce point, and I try to defend myself the best I can. I missed the approach wide. 5-2 down, not good, haven't, haven't been in that position in a while to be honest, but uh, yeah. 15-30 here, good serve by him and as you can see I've improved my footwork a bit to try and get more points.
but it's still a bit faulty as I missed this one here. 30 all, and I said to myself, let's be more aggressive, you know? Just trying to put pressure on him, maybe come back, they said. It's deuce point, though, and first set point for him. Yeah, back and letting me down there and first set gone, 6-2. Despite having lost the first set, there are some things that I figured I needed to do to take the lead. And the first one was to up my pace a little bit and keep him moving. As it was harder for him to find my back end on the move and this was really the only way he would miss. And I also needed to play some two-handed back ends for sure because even though I had some pain, that was the only way. Surely enough, with that idea in mind, I find myself lost 30 in a serve after a close hold. And yeah, we play a pretty good point here, both of us, but I eventually find a winner. I get the break and now I was really starting to get into good rhythm with good pace. And he couldn't just play slow to my back and as I was way more aggressive on that side. I play a horrible drop shot here but he misses just wide. We get a hold each and I think by now I really figured out what I had to do. And him being under suppression was starting to give in. Deuce point at 5-2 and he misses the four and that gives me a second set 6-2. Third set starts off hot as I immediately have the chance to break him this deuce point. Two zero then and yeah with the two handed back in even if it wasn't great it made a huge difference because it took away time from him. As you can see, he's on the run here and then ends up missing. A good enough serve gives me the hold 3-0. The match was really in my hands now and yet again I have another chance to pretty much seal it, I'd say. A couple of slices here as I'm trying to conserve my wrist a little bit maybe since I'm leading now. But the difference from the first set is I do get around now and do damage with the four, like I do here. I was really feeling it. Big hits, big serves, and so on. Yeah, as you can see, my form was at my top level right now, and yeah, it was actually much, much easier to win points. 30 all, and big point to see if I can win 6 0. He gets his attack, but I guess the side, and yeah, everything is going in at this point, I guess. First match point. One more match point though, and he double faults, so it's game over, I guess. Good win, especially for how the first set went, and I could have been very tricky, but I was satisfied for how I turned that up a notch and found my best level. It was actually a really tight match though, as we found ourselves 3 off after some time, and it was down to the last court, which went down to the third set. Luckily, we were able to take the win 6 2 in the third and take this team win. So, yeah, overall, good day for myself and for the team. Happy to get back to winning ways in both doubles and singles, and uh, yeah, see you next time.